Four suspects are now under arrest and charged with the murder of a Houston County man who was shot and killed Thursday morning near downtown Dothan. Yeah, in fact, Amanda, today Dothan police held a news conference to share information on the case. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has been following the investigation and joins us from the newsroom with new details. Good evening, Aaron. Mike and Amanda, police now believe the motive of Thursday's shooting was a robbery, and police believe the suspects planned to steal from Gabriel Johnson. A tragedy, four people decided to, to plan to kill somebody to rob them for money. I guess it's a sign of the times we live in. The shooting took place early Thursday morning at the intersection of Morgan and West Mead Street in downtown Dothan. Gabriel Johnson was later found by officers hours later with a gunshot wound to the torso and a handgun at his side. Johnson was declared dead at the scene. Neighbors believe the shooting happened just after midnight on Thursday. Thursday night, Dothan police arrested Daylon Beard and Roderick Holmes, who according to court records, do not have a previous criminal history. Then the Bay County Sheriff's Office assisted in arresting Devaseria Booth and a 17-year-old juvenile who also are suspects in the murder. All four will be facing capital murder charges. The motive of this senseless act uh, appears to be robbery, and we have the information that we need to make that case, which turns this case into a capital case. Questions that still remain in this case include why did these four suspects want to rob Gabriel Johnson? How much money or what were they trying to steal from Johnson? And how many shots were fired during the altercation? Dothan police adds that this is still at the early stages of the investigation, but that Beard and Holmes currently sit in the Houston County Jail with no bond and Booth and the juvenile will be held with no bond when they are transferred to Dothan. Uh, just so the community can be assured uh, that we have who we believe responsible for the planning uh, and the execution of the murder. This case remains under investigation with the Dothan Police Department, so stick with WDHN News as we continue to bring you the latest developments.